like it's dark as out here. Like I really want to bust your windows and yeah. stuff. Like, she, cause she's you really just left me out here in the middle of the dark. Oh my God. I need help. From broken windows to assault to just plain old rudeness, we're breaking down the top three craziest moments caught on camera by rideshare drivers. Now joining us is Dustin is driving. Dustin's a Uber driver and a YouTuber. Dustin, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for so much for having me, Sam. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Happy to have you here, Dustin. So the first video I want to go over, uh, it's an Uber passenger. She cancels a ride mid-trip mind you and then she basically refuses to get out of the car because it's too dark yeah but i mean since you can't so you know there's another rider waiting for me so i need to go okay well i would get out where they at but this is too dark here to get out i will call the uber people but this this is too dark i'm sorry i, I can get out at the nearest stoplight or gas station but not right here this is the end of the la la land i don't know where what this is Yes. Yeah. That one was uh, pretty crazy. Um, all I can say on that is people who cancel mid ride shouldn't complain where they get dropped off at all because they're already trying to scam the driver, which, you know, isn't cool to begin with. So she refuses to leave after she cancels the ride and the driver tells her to get out of his car. And then she finally does get out and she basically destroys his car. Like it's dark as I really want to bust your windows and yeah. stuff like because she, you really just left me out here in the middle of the dark. Oh my god. Yeah. I need help now. Yeah, for someone who was so scared about being in a dark, you know, not lit area, well, and knowing that the cops are on their way, she's not scared enough to pick up a rock, break the guy's windshield, and then run off into the dark. So oh. that just doesn't make any sense to me at all whatsoever. Is that what that was? A rock? I thought it was like a big brick or something. Yeah. Well, well yeah. Rock brick. You know, it was, it, it was, uh, it was definitely loud. It scared him. He did not get compensated. That person was not found because I think they signed up under somebody else's account. So it was like a third party ride as well. And, you know, Uber and Lyft don't track anybody who signs up with a third party account. They just go after the account holder themselves but they don't give us, they, we don't know that information. The only thing we see on the app is whatever fake name you might've put in there and that's it. We don't get a picture, nothing. So that's what I was gonna ask. You said she was never found. So charges were never brought up against the passenger? Sadly not. Oh man. All right, Dustin. So moving on to the second video, uh, it's a passenger who appears to be super intoxicated and again, decides to cancel the ride, this time in the middle of a highway. have to get out. Why? Because you just, just scammed me. I have to get out on the side of the fucking interstate. Yeah, you scammed me. I didn't scam you. Just ended the trip. Yeah, on that one, um, drivers, you're not, no matter, if they cancel on a highway, you have to at least drop them off, off the interstate. Okay, not, may not have to be in a well-lit area or anything else like that, but you're, it is against the law to actually drop anybody off on an interstate at all. And yeah, sadly, he had to get out of the car. And I'm pretty sure that was the one where she took his keys and like chucked them. And then he, he, he spent all night trying to find him. She ran off, was never caught or anything either. Um, but yeah, and then he had to find him the very next day. So he was, you know, he was kind of screwed at that moment. I think he had to call a friend to come pick him up, he told me. And yeah, he, he lost the rest of that night on all the money he could have made and everything else. And she's still out there. I'm sure taking Ubers and Lyfts. Oh my gosh. So why, why is canceling a drive mid trip, even an option on the app? That's a really good question. Um, that has been brought up many times by drivers and even riders are like, it shouldn't be an option on there. I think it's because of from, Back in the day, I guess, like I was saying on the last person, where drivers, I guess, would accept a ride and then would just sit there and wait and wait for you to cancel, not coming towards you or anything else like that. So I think that's why they implemented that and allowed riders to be able to cancel the ride too. So in this video, after some back and forth and she refuses to get out of his car, she decides her best course of action is to literally hit the driver. Let me off, Yeah, get out. Yeah. Why don't you... Get out of my car. 
fuck you. He's a sh**. You, you b Give me my sh**. Yeah, and people may not believe it or not, but that, that happens a lot. When people, you know, obviously get intoxicated or something, you know, say they're not them, themselves or whatnot. But yeah, she slapped him and then ran off, you know, and after she took his keys and threw him in, into the uh, the tall grass. It, it, it happens way too much and it shouldn't. And then you would think even having a dash camera to discourage people from doing that. No. It seems like once you get over that point of liquid courage, you, you just don't care. Yeah, you'd think having a dash cam and she's on it and you can see her face, they would find her, but she was never charged with assault? No. No, it's 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 really insane. So that's why I tell people to, you know, always have a dash camera. It may not save your life, but usually it helps deter people from doing things to begin with. But in that, you know, small off chance that it doesn't, well, this is the outcome of that. And you have the video proof to be able to show the police and hopefully they can be caught, but it just doesn't always work to your, you know, the way you hope it turns out. And maybe after this video, Dustin is driving, coming on law and crime. Maybe, maybe they'll find her after they see this. Um, so Dustin, our last video, it's a racist passenger who loses it when a driver won't stay an extra 15 minutes in the car with her. It's going to be six, 16 minutes. 15. Uh, I can't. You I to... just paid you. And yeah, I will the, give it back the, to you in your tip because I can't way. leave here because I got to pick up my son. I know, but I, I wouldn't have to hired you as my driver if you were going to do this to me. I'm going to give you the biggest complaint to live there okay. is. Oh my God, you are the worst driver I've ever had. Okay. Ever. You're disgusting. Okay. 15 minutes? I've had people wait longer. Yeah, that lady was uh, very crazy. And in fact, what's even funnier is when they pulled up, they pulled up to a police station. She was getting her son, I guess, out of jail on Valentine's Great role, Day. Great role model. Yeah. Yes. With her other son in the car with her. So she was going to pick up her son from jail. And then she was getting mad because they weren't, they didn't release him yet. And it's like, well, you know, we don't, you only get paid like pennies per minute. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's like five, five to 10 cent, depending on what, what state you're in, what your market is. So it's not enough to make drivers sit there and wait without an incentive. Like, you know, someone trying to tip you extra 20 bucks or something, give it to you. Then we'll make sure I will sit here and wait 15 minutes. That's fine. But otherwise, yeah, it's like you keep it moving. And then she got mad and was just losing it on him, you know, said, I think she said, like, go back to where you came from and everything else. And he's just staying as calm and as collective could be like, <laughs> I need to buy that man a drink because I don't know how he kept it together. And then refusing to get out of his car while they're at the police station. So I, I really couldn't believe that she went that far and was, you know, said all that stuff to him was like, uh, I, I like, I'll never forget this video for the simple fact. She was like, uh, I've never been mean like this to anybody. I've never, ever had to report anybody in my life like <laughs> come on karen you know you know you've been practicing all your life for this yeah the way she said it and she was like i've never said that before but no that came out of her like she said it a thousand times before and then she was like welcome to this is my new self <laughs> i'm like when your new self whoo hate to see the old self <sighs> Yeah, and uh, so she refuses to leave his car and then just continues to berate him and berate him. I, all I needed was some help, and you won't even help me. What a disgusting disgrace of a human being you are. Okay. You are disgraceful. I hope you go back to wherever the f you came from. Oh. We don't deserve people like you here. Yeah, and then I think eventually at the end he was like, well, I'll just get out and you know, get one of the officers that are inside the building. And she finally ended up getting out. But uh, yeah, it was, it was really horrible. And hopefully she'll get what, you know, karma always comes back around. That's all I have, can say on that really. You know what I mean? You, you want to always say things to more, like when people are acting like that too, but you want to try to stay as professional as you can, especially when you know that everything's being recorded. You don't want to end up looking, you don't want to give in or as I call feed the trolls. You don't want to do that. You want to just stay professional, kill him with kindness. That is the best thing you can do. And be as relaxed and professional as that guy was. So she's berating him for like eight minutes. And then he's like, you know what? Enough of this. I'm just going to go inside and get a cop. And then the second he says that, she, she immediately leaves. So she, she knew she was wrong. Eight minutes. 
minutes. Oh, should have just waited, shouldn't you? I've been sure you could have gotten the money. Eight minutes. I have to leave. Oh, you're not gonna leave and let with me in the car. I have to. No, you don't have to. That's your choice. Let me just go inside and talk to a police officer. Maybe we'll let you live. What? You're such a disgraceful human being. Oh yeah. And I think she was probably hoping it also in the same time that while she's berating him and everything else, that maybe her son would come out. You know what I mean? Because she was like, wait 15 minutes. Well, after eight minutes of yelling at me, I guess he still wasn't coming out. Yeah. She's like, I'm just going to kill time by being the worst possible human anyone could ever imagine. Yeah. And then in front of her son too. Like that's just mm. terrible. Uh, Dustin is driving. I appreciate you coming on, breaking down the top three wildest videos. Can you tell everyone where we can find you? Uh, yeah, thank you for having me on again, Sam. And uh, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at Dustin is Driving. Dustin is Driving. Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks again. Thank you.